Welcome to College East. This is our Valentine's episode. I'm Lewis. I'm Emma, and we're here to show you some fun things that you could do with your honey, you could do with your galentines, you could do with your galentines, uh -huh. however you want to do it. There'll be some fun activities that are perfect for Valentine's Day. So we're going to start with some chocolate covered pretzels, and we're going to melt down the chocolate, and then we're going to put some fun candies on it. I think uh -huh. you got these cute little hearts for us. Yeah, we got a little so nice sugar and chocolate going in. And then we have some white chocolate popcorn, right? Uh-huh. And then uh, you have something special here. with the bread. What's going on yeah. with the bread? So today with the bread, we're going to be doing an egg in, the, egg in the heart. So this one you can share with your bae, or if you're lonely on Valentine's Day and just want a little extra love, you can this is going to pep yourself. you up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start off with chocolate covered pretzels. We're going to have two toppings for them. Candy hearts and crushed M&Ms. Uh, but to start, we have to melt our semi-sweet chocolate in our pan over here. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's get started. So we're going to wait. We need the hot water to boil, and then while you can wait for the hot water to boil, you can put your M&Ms and your candy hearts in a bag, and you can get a rolling pin or a cup, and then if you're angry about Valentine's Day, you can take it out on these candies. Yes. And you can share those with your friends so they don't have to do it themselves. Get all your anger out. Yeah. Okay, so we have melted our chocolate and we added a little bit of canola oil just to get it a nice glossy finish and it and helps it mix it. it. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pretzel, um, and they are heart shaped, okay. and we're going to dip it, half of it in chocolate, and then you want to let it drip a little bit so you don't have all the excess chocolate, and then you are going to pick, what do we want to do first, M&M's or candy bars? Um, let's go with M&M's. Yeah, okay, yeah. that was a good decision. That's so we're going to get that in there, and then... So you can dip it, it in, but you can also set Maybe it down sprinkle. Should we sprinkle and sprinkle them down. Let's yeah. sprinkle. There we go. That just nice. cover it up. It'll all harden. Once it's all hardened, the M&Ms will just stick right to it. Beautiful. Alright, we're going to go Let's try number two. I think we need a little bit more chocolate this time. I'm a big chocolate girl. And you can always go back and hit the pretzel with a little more chocolate, coat it again. Chocolate let's sprinkle with some crushed up candy. That's what good Also, make sure you find the smallest bits in your bowl. And if you have to go back and crush it again, it's worth it. Oh, she's looking good. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try one? Yeah, go for it. Make a mess. You can make yeah. your friends clean up later. <laughs> Whoever you're giving these to, you should make them clean it up since you made them for them. Exactly. That's a real Valentine. Okay. Let's do one more candy heart. Lay that down. Get the small bits. The colors are also really good for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. It's a very festive treat. So if you're having a party, this will look really good front and center. Just like yourself. Alright, so now since we have two of each, we're going to keep going, but you can do this with friends, do it by yourself, it's a really relaxing activity. We're going to let them dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, stick them in your fridge if you like, that'll speed it up, and make sure to enjoy them. Okay, so now we're going to get started on our white chocolate popcorn, something you can do in your dorm room or at your house. Um, first, we're going to have to melt chocolate again, so we're going to take our white chocolate, stick it into our double broiler here, which is just a pot with water. <laughs> And you could use a microwave for this too, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a dorm room or you don't have access to a stove, you can do popcorn in the microwave and you can melt the chocolate in your microwave. Yeah, this is definitely a friend's, uh, friend's Valentine sort of recipe. Uh, something to bring cheer to everybody. Crowd pleaser. Crowd So we just finished melting the white chocolate. We had to add a little heavy creamer just to loosen it up. Something about white chocolate versus dark chocolate. But you know what, it worked out. So now we're gonna drizzle the white chocolate over the popcorn. Take a little bit of salt just to keep it. Yeah, the popcorn. Just... Sweet and salty, a little mix. Yeah. All right. All right, and here's some out. We're gonna use the pork, and we're just gonna go over top of it like that. You wanna get a nice drizzle. And like we said, the white chocolate is a little bit 
thicker, it's kind of a little bit harder to work with, but it comes out and it looks really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit more. Like we said before, if you're having issues with your white chocolate, you can add heavy cream, or if you don't have any heavy cream, we actually found that um, any type of milk will mm -hmm. kind of do the trick. Yeah, if you prefer using almond milk or soy milk, it'll still loosen it up. It's that added liquid. You just have to make sure that you stir the pot vigorously so that you mix the fat and the water together. Yeah. And to top it off, we're gonna just add a little bit of extra salt so it sticks to the chocolate, and so you get the sweet and salty component. Yeah. And then you can add your candies up top and you just sprinkle them up and then they will connect with the white chocolate and you have a fun, festive popcorn. And the more that you finally crush up or chop whatever topping you want, you could do other candies besides M&M's or Oreos. crush... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, those would be so, so good. So there's a so lot good. of options. Okay. And so as soon as you finish up the white chocolate, uh, you can also have your dark chocolate on the stove, mix it in with a bowl, and this one you can toss and turn and get it all coated. Okay, so we are back and we are doing the dark chocolate this time, and Lewis is vigorously stirring up some of our chocolate, which we actually added a little bit of milk to as well, to get it back to its nice liquidy shape so that we can put it on the popcorn and get it tossed up, and this is where you can really have a lot of fun. Roll up your sleeves, get your hands dirty. Mm. Nice oh. and hot. Sizzling, just like your Valentine's Day. Yeah! Everybody needs a little heat in the Valentine's right. Day, right? Let's dump that on there. Yeah, go for it. Okay, do you want to slide the pot on? Um, we have to be careful with the water. Drizzle. Drizzle. Beautiful. Mm. Wow, I wish they could see what I'm seeing right now. This reminds this me of the chocolate summer. that we get down the shore over the summer. You know? Yeah! And then yeah. it comes with like like the fudge on top and the mm -hmm. chocolate and it comes with, that's a great gift. This is a great Valentine's Day gift. If you're looking for cheap gifts for someone who loves food or just anyone in life, this is it. Chocolate covered popcorn. Yeah, I mean, you wanna give this a shake up real quick? Yeah. Coat some more popcorn on the bottom. Oh god. Gonna get dirty. Oh man, I love What's a lovely this. gift without getting your hands dirty? Exactly, it's made from heart. Okay. Dirty. So we're gonna drizzle a little bit more chocolate on here, and then we're gonna make sure we get some M&Ms and candy hearts. Um, but yeah, make sure you get your hands dirty in here, and that shows you got extra care and love in it. Give every piece a little bit of love. your dark covered popcorn, you have your white chocolate covered popcorn, and then you also have your pretzels that look beautiful and mm -hmm. so festive, and then you have the egg in the frame. And it's so cute, it's yep. so fun. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of fun making those. Oh, hey there. All right, so I'm just cutting the bread for to, for um, the egg in the, for the heart in the frame. Um, have some pre-cut here. If you're looking for a heart shape for the eggs to fit into, these were perfect. Um, and then you're gonna have leftover bread that on the side, you can just fry up and make it look nice. There's a little, there's a little side part to your plate. So first thing you gotta do for the egg in the frame, or the heart in the frame, is heat up your pan to about a medium heat for the egg. Um, in a moment or two, I'm gonna put in some butter. And that'll get a nice crisp uh, bottom to the bread. Working the butter around, get as much area as possible. So, get our bread in. Bread's gonna take about two minutes to cook through and get a nice brownish yellow look on the bottom. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna throw your egg in.
right, so about to flip the uh, part in the frame. And once you flip it, it's only going to need about 30 seconds longer to cook. If you want it, if you want your yolk to be a little harder, then you can let it cook for a minute, minute and 15 seconds. But you should only need about one flip with the egg in it. Um, this is really delicious if you just had a long day at school and you're having some friends over, you need a simple Valentine's Day or even weekend meal during the cold weekends here at Syracuse. Um, and it's also just great for a quick breakfast in the morning with a little salsa or uh, cheese added in on it. I mean, I would love having one of these per day before I go to class. All right, so now the egg is ready and we're gonna bring it over to the plate, finish this up for your bae. Oh, him or her, she's, they're gonna love it. This looks so delicious. And then you know you've done a good job when you can crack it in, open your egg, it's a little runny, dip your heart in, Mm, bon appetit. Thanks for tuning in to College Eats this week. We had a wonderful time cooking our Valentine's Day specials. Follow us on our social medias at SU College Eats. You can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. And we hope that you have a wonderful Valentine's Day yep. and enjoy making these. And make sure you come back next week because we are going on scene at Core Life and I think you're going to love it. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day.